hello? Audio test. Okay, there we go. That looks more like it. I had to switch headsets. So hello everyone. I see a few people are watching this here stream. That's awesome. Uh, thanks for joining. I'm Jeremy Parrish, and I'm about to play an NES game and drink alcohol. Uh, that is not a stunt. I'm not trying to like prove I can beat video games when I drink because as you've seen in my previous streams, sometimes I can't even beat NES games when I'm not drinking. So, uh, <coughs> that's fine. Um, anyway, yes, this is just kind of a trial run for something I'd like to do, hopefully, if Patreon goals can make it that far. Um, it's like $150 away, called Gintendo. It's a pun, you see, Nintendo and Gin. That is my preferred beverage. Uh, I won't always drink gin. Sometimes it'll be other things. Uh, so, today I'm playing G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Because I like the game. Um, it's always I've always had a soft spot for it. Uh, but also, it's one that I can play pretty easily without worrying too much about the effects of this alcohol on my system. Uh, not that I'm drinking to get drunk or anything like that. Uh, that's not really kind of the point of this, and that's not really something I do anyway. 
Um, but, you know, just kind of enjoying uh, unwinding with a nice drink and a nice game. So, anyway, this is uh, developed by KID for Nintendo Entertainment System, published by Taxan, and um, the idea behind this game was that you form a uh, like a, a squad of Joes to go into enemy strongholds and blow stuff up. So you have to take Duke into the first stage, but you can take two other characters into each stage with you. So I'm going to go with Duke, Rock and Roll, and Snake Eyes, a classic trio. Um, and you can switch characters pretty freely anytime. They each have their own life bar, so it's got kind of that Ninja Turtles NES thing to it. Um, and what was I saying? I'm not even drinking yet, and already I've forgotten. Um, yeah, so basically you can walk and punch and stuff, but you can also get guns and shoot. Sometimes enemy dro enemies drop K rations, which bounce wildly across the ground. Uh, Cobra, ha Cobra has apparently trained uh, eels, or st I guess stingrays, to leap out of the ground or out of the water at you, because that's what they do in the jungle. Um, as you can see, each character has their own distinctive style. Uh, Snake Eyes can jump really high and swings a katana, but he does not carry a gun because he prefers to use his own jutsu of power. That's not canon, folks. Uh, Snake Eyes does not do a Hadoken. Um, he actually came with an Uzi. So I don't know what shenanigans they were up to, those crazy folks at Kid. Um, anyway, so you have a limited amu ammunition for every character except Snake Eyes and those little bullets that uh, bounce around. Wow, little, little pigs coming after me. I like this effect, the dude in the foreground who jumps out at you. Whoa! Takes more than one hit, that's bad. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Something about ammunition? Yes. Snake Eyes doesn't actually have to use ammunition, so that's kind of one advantage to him. Um, but each character levels up individually. You can see where on the title or the, the subscreen it says uh, level 1B, 1A, 1C. Uh, basically each character has multiple tiers of weapon strength and every time you pick up a, uh, a gun icon, I think it is, you'll go up one level. Um, so that makes your attacks stronger, but each character is sort of individually uh, built up. So I'm going to switch over to rock and roll because dude needs uh, dude needs some gun help. He's supposed to be the strongest of the the gunners. He's the heavy machine gunner, and yet, and yet, he is currently the weakest. Although I did get him a gun icon, so we're getting getting to where we need to be. And here is a K ration and some ammunition. And I'm about to take on the first boss. Oops, got to jump over that missile. Yes, I do. Oh, and on top of all of this, there is a timer on each stage, which doesn't matter so much on the linear stages like this one, but you do get to some stages uh, throughout the game where it's much more non-linear. And it's taking a while to shoot down this condor, so clearly, oops, I should switch to a character who can jump higher, and I should have been uh, focusing on building up a single character's attacks. Like Snake Eyes should have max ammunition or max uh, max firepower right now for maximum impact because he jumps highest, so he's really good at this part. But I tried to be democratic, egalitarian, communistic, whatever. It's a uh, very un GI Joe-ish. So as a result, Snake Eyes is only level 1C. If he were level 2, 2A, he would do much better against the Condor. But what can you do? It's been a while since I've really played this seriously. Uh, and I'm running low on time, so I really hope this Condor goes down soon. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Whoa! Okay, Condor, you gotta blow up soon, please. Oh! Snake Eyes, you're not... Oh! You're supposed to be the best Joe. Oh, uh, bad news. Right, I need to switch characters. Oh, time up mission incomplete. That's embarrassing. 
I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. What's wrong with me? Man. Oh, some guy is laughing at me. I think that's... I don't know, who is that supposed to be? It's not Cobra Commander. Is it Metalhead? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, it's time to take a drink. Because that certainly uh, is a sign that I could use some help. All right, we'll go back with Snake Eyes. We'll try Captain Gridiron this time, because what better way to save freedom than with a guy who dresses up like, up like a football player? All right, so I'm just going to beef up Snake Eyes this entire time and see how that does for me. Anyway, so the other part of this besides video games is the gin part, the alcohol. Um, and if you are not of the legal age in your home, I do not recommend you imitate what I am doing right now. You should be of, of age to drink alcohol. Um, but yes, I'm, I made a cocktail for myself. Oh god. Little pigs. Uh, in this case, I made a Negroni, which is uh, a very bitter cocktail made with Campari, which is a grapefruit liqueur, or cordial, whatever you want to call it, uh, sweet vermouth, and gin. And uh, the gin I used was something called Bar Hill, which is made in Vermont, and is pretty much just like vodka, but with, you know, gin botanicals. It's made with juniper and honey. Whoa! Yikes. That missile hit me hard. Um, so anyway, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, straightforward gin. There's not much flavor going on in terms of complexity. It's juniper and honey, but uh, those those flavors go together pretty well, and it makes a nice Negroni because the sweetness of the honey, which isn't like cloyingly sweet or anything, um, but the sweetness definitely helps um, cut the bitterness of the gin and the Campari and the vermouth. I mean, it's a very bitter, bitter drink, so uh, it helps to have uh, a little bit of sweetness in there. So that's what I'm drinking. I actually, uh, I said I was going to drop trivia and knowledge about alcohol, but I don't really know that much, so I kind of came into drinking late in life. Uh, I do know that Negroni is apparently named for a count, which is pretty cool. And... Um, when I go to Japan, I order Negroni sometimes, and they don't always know what it is, but they do know what Campari is. Campari and soda is very popular over there. But that's a little... straight Campari with just soda is a little bitter for me. Gotta get a little more, a little more going on than just the grapefruit punch. Am I running low on time again? My god. What is happening here? Snake Eyes, you are a disappointment to us all. Uh, maybe that's what I should have done, is built up Duke. He jump, doesn't jump as well, but he shoots twice. That's why he's the first sergeant. The top shirt! Um, anyway, so we go on to mission 1-2, one, two, and I see that there are some... Questions. Uh, uh, someone's complaining about the audio setup. This is my first time using this particular setup, so sorry if it's not perfect. Um, and someone wants to know what my opinion is on gin and juice. Um, I, sure, why not? All right, so this guy is laughing at me, and he's abusing exclamation points. That's how you know he's evil. So, Snake Eyes needs some health. You carry over your uh, stamina between stages, so it's always good not to die horribly. I feel like there's probably a way to get that K-ration. But I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. 
Snake Eyes Jutsu of Power can shoot through walls. And my K rations are recharged. Hooray for me. So there's some little vipers just walking around shooting. So this is the first of the nonlinear stages. And it's not really like, you know, Metroid or anything, but uh, basically you have to run around to those check marks. I think there's three, four of them. And you drop a bomb. And if you notice the bomb, the number on that was set synced to the timer at the bottom right. Uh, basically, when you run out of time, this area blows up. And uh, so it's a good idea to take care of everything in time. I want to max out Snake Eyes, get him to level 2. Oh. There we go. 2A. What does that do? Oh yeah, now I'm shooting twice. Oh, but apparently that's still not strong enough to kill a flying stingray. There we go. Or a cobra eel. So apparently Snake Eye's Jutsu of Power lacks in the power department. I guess that's why you bring along Captain Gridiron, because he shoots missiles or grenades that look like footballs. And I don't know what that body armor was. I can't remember what that icon does, but it seems good. Oh, it makes things jump through me. Okay. Right on. Way to go, Captain Gridiron. Um, when I announced that I was going to be hosting this stream, a stream of this game, um, the question was, why is Captain Gridiron a choice? Oh, what is going on? Come on. And I think the answer to that is that uh, this was meant to... Can't seem to get up there. All right. Uh, I think this was meant to be a tie-in with the current season of G.I. Joe's cartoon, which was uh, produced by Deke, rather than Hasbro Marvel Sunbro, Sunbow. And it looks like I... Um, whoa. I managed to do all the bombs. And now I have to fight Raptor. Who has a bird. He is an accountant, by the way. He is the most evil accountant. I could see how this battle could go downhill pretty quickly. thanks to Snake Eye's terrible jutsu of power. So the important thing is don't use Snake Eyes because he actually sucks. Larry Hama would be... Oh! Snake Eyes is gone forever! Goodbye Snake Eyes. That was a disappointment. You know, it's been a while since I've played this and it's much more challenging than I recall. bird is quite effective at running into me, as is the stupid accountant. This is all going badly. So this may be a very short-lived stream of G.I. Joe, I don't know. I cannot seem to avoid that stupid bird for the life of me. Also, I somewhat question Raptor's hitbox. Like, seriously? Ugh. Alright. There we go. Good lord, that was terrible. What an embarrassing showing. Oh, and I still have to escape before the bombs explode. Yeah, with a dead snake eyes and a duke barely hanging on for life. Time to drink! Oh, someone tells me the taunting guy is a range viper 
who for some reason is the boss of the stage, even though he's a generic soldier, and I've been fighting... Uh, I just fought Raptor, who's a named character. That just doesn't work. That doesn't happen. Once again, I question Kid's commitment to G.I. Joe canon. They turned Snake Eyes into a scrub, Captain Gridiron into an awesome dude, and Range Viper into a more important character than Raptor. What is this world coming to? Oh no! Oh, whew, I thought that was a pit. Whoa, what is that guy? I don't know, but he sucks! Oh, Duke really needed that. Well, I guess I can... I hope I can kill this guy with just Captain Gridiron, because otherwise I'm in big trouble! Whoa, -ho! yes, this is not going well already. Oh, suck it. Man. The hitboxes leave something to be desired. There we go. All right generic soldier who is the boss is dead, and it looks like I have beaten stage one. Hooray! Whoa, that's a hell of an explosion. What kind of weapons are G.I. Joe using? I don't, I don't think that's okay with the Geneva Convention. All right, write down that password in case I need it later. Way to go, team. By the way, I think that's supposed to be Hawk, which is really terrible, because he looks ridiculous. Snake Eyes, I love you, but you're terrible in this game, so I guess we're going to go with Captain Gridiron. And we'll go with Rock and Roll, who has the strongest attack, but the crappiest jump. And you're stuck with Blizzard in this one. Blizzard, the snow-based character that nobody remembers. Like... Everyone remembers Snow Job and Alpine. Wait, Alpine wasn't Snow. What was the guy's name? Frostbite, that's it. But Blizzard? Who the hell is he? Was he one of the Battle Force 2000 guys? I really can't remember. He's got a little dagger. He wants to stab a dude. I do like the art style and the animation in this game. Alright, so clearly I need to be using a gun here. Whoa! You guys are launching missiles at your very own dudes. That is not good protocol. Those are some really big missiles, too. Whoa, I should have ducked to that, but I didn't. But I found the Cave of Wonders. That's good. I don't know what that guy was. Was that a Heat Viper? I don't know. This is, uh, this is G.I. Joe after I kind of stopped caring about it, so... I don't really know the uh, the characters and everything from this part that well. All right, Blizzard is really powered up, but also has very little life. So we're going to switch over to Rock and Roll, who will probably die horribly in uh, these pits, but we'll see. Yeah! I have no idea why Rock and Roll has such a low life meter. Come on, do what? Um, he's like super muscular. He's carrying, you know, air-cooled machine guns. Well, anyway, I have health for uh, Blizzard, so that's good. Anyway, yeah, I feel like they kind of misrepresented Rock and Roll here, but maybe he's incredibly weak because he is in the Arctic using... Wah. He's in the Arctic wearing short sleeves. Am I supposed to blow up the missiles? I can't remember. What the hell am I doing? Okay, now I see. I'm doing a very poor job here. I am not a real American hero. I'm also running low on ammo, which is very disappointing. 
Oh, rock and roll's dead? Oh. Very unfortunate. Good thing I've got Captain Gridiron, who has his football missiles. I don't remember this game being this difficult, and I can't blame the djinn, because, like I said, I haven't really had that much. I think it's just old age. Whoa! That missile came in close! Captain Gridiron's really good. It's really annoying that such a ridiculous character is so great. I wonder if Ice Cream Soldier is a hidden character. Okay, let's try this again. Yep. Just use Captain Gridiron. That's the secret. What a letdown. Alright. Captain Gridiron wins again. Uh, I see people are talking about their New Year's... New Year's gaming resolutions, beating all 96 epics, epic exits in Super Mario World. Okay, I'm having trouble forming words. Maybe this uh, Gintendo is a bad idea. Okay, there we go. That guy is like a real character. He's not just a, a generic scrub who is demoted or promoted to boss. That's actually a guy. That's Metalhead, right? I think that's Metalhead. I don't know. I got most of my G.I. Joe knowledge uh, from like the first year or two of the cartoons. And then from the cool Larry Hama comic, because Larry Hama is awesome. I don't know who that guy is, but uh, that technique he has is very, very frustrating. Oh, there's got to be some way to get into that. I want that. I want that thing. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Guy who appeared from nowhere. What was that? Poetic nature of G.I. Joe comes to the fore. I have no idea what this little thing that I'm on is called. Is it like a baby fang? I don't know. But I'm flying, Jack. I'm flying. I already made that joke this week. Sorry about that. It looks like this thing has a really pathetic health bar. guessing to get to that gun thing, I have to shoot through something? Yes, there we go. All right. All right! That's what the games industry would like for us to think, anyway. All right, so... Wow, there's a lot of these little vanishing dudes. First checkpoint is over here. There we go. Yes, I reached out of the helicopter right through the blades, and what the? Yes, delicious K rations. Processed meat. Oh no, I hit the wrong button! And now I don't have my cool helicopter anymore. I'm so sad. What did I do? What have I done? Oh, 
I no longer believe in happiness. All right, well, Captain Gridiron is all maxed out now, so uh, I should probably switch over. Oops. Damn. Keep hitting the wrong button. All right, there we go. All right, Stabby McFriend. Damn. Didn't respawn. So disappointing. Somehow I have to get over there. That's not the way to do it. But I wouldn't give for a helicopter right about now. Probably should have looked up a map for this game first. Oh, that was cheap. What was that? It was nonsense. Switch back to Mr. Stabby. Ugh. Oh, so sad. Something tells me I am probably not going to finish this in time. How many more of those check marks do I have to do? It's probably two. All right, snow snowman, let's go. Oh. All right, jump up here. Yes, that's good. Give me your helicopter. I can see this is not going to go well. Oh, this is very tedious. Although I did just boost uh, Blizzard's max health, so that's good. Alrighty. Another checkpoint. How many more to go? Is this all of them? At least there's a shortcut. All right. Go all the way up. Indeed, I can. Oi. All right, I'm going to head back to the exit and see if I have can indeed move along to the next stage. My guess is probably no. Nope. Alright, so somewhere in here, there's a check mark that I have to find. That's not it up there, is it? No, I guess not. Go, go, go. Jump. Oh, there we go. I have to fall down a pit. Oh, these conveyor belts are the worst. I like that. Let's go. Can I go down here? No, I cannot. Somewhere there's... Eh, there we go. Okay. Let's fly away from here. <laughs> uh, yes, there we go. Okay. We're in business. All those things were, but something good just happened. And we're on to the exit. Let's go, little guy. Whoa. Yikes. I 
believe those are buzz bores, is that correct? It's been a while. They seem not to be easy to destroy. There we go. All right. Finally, some good things are happening. And something bad just happened. Hey, that guy got really fast all of a sudden. That's not good. There we go. Okay. Oh, I get my own buzz bore. Awesome. Time to hurry up and buzz bore my way to freedom. But first, let's have some more alcohol. So I will be too inebriated. All right. Here we go. Uh-oh, he's going to blow me away. That sounds dangerous. Hey, this uh, stage... Wasn't I supposed to get a buzz bore? What happened to that? That's kind of lame. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess I'll just go forward and see if that helps. I feel like I've already killed this guy. There we go. I think uh, this is like a bottomless pit under me, huh? So I probably don't want to screw up. That was almost bad. Oh! I screwed up. Well, I think this is going to go poorly. Isn't there supposed to be a buzz bore? Buzz bore? Buzz bore? There we go. Okay. That's what I'm missing. Yeah. All right. Let the good times roll. That is not a very practical weapon. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Buzzbore, you are terrible. Your weapon is garbage, and you have no health. You're the worst. No wonder Cobra never wins. Oh, Cobra. Oh, K-Rat. Oh, no! <laughs> tactics failure. I don't think that was the problem. I think it was something besides tactics that have failed me. I should have worn my long johns. Oh, right, this was in an arctic base. <laughs> I forgot. That was weird. Why is Metalhead talking about my underwear? Well, let's do over. Hey, oh, okay. Well, at least I don't have to start from the beginning. Okay, I thought I was going to have to go to 3 one, 2 1. That would have been very sad. He's going to blow me away, or so he says. All right, practice makes, um, maybe not perfect, but I would settle for tolerable. I think I need to switch to Captain Gridiron to collect all these weapons, because he is going to need to be boosted. Oh! Die! There we go. Now that's now I've got the power. Oh. I blew it. It's working. It's working. Okay. So, Captain Gridiron has a gun. Whoa! And this guy can jump and stuff. And he has a missile that shoots and becomes boulders for some reason. I 
think I'm going to go with the time honor tactic of standing really close to him and shooting fast. Oh, oh, I should have switched over. That was really bad. All right, Blizzard, you're garbage, but you gotta, you gotta come in for me. You suck at jumping, dude. What the hell kind of special agent are you? You're supposed to be America's elite. There is nothing elite about you. You're very elite at sucking. There we go. All right. Well, I lost two men, but America wins. So I've completed another mission. <sighs> Better write down that password, too. Come back to the stream for later. Um, okay, so we move along to stage three. That was close. Yes, thankfully I have infinite continues on, like, bad guys. So I haven't talked about my favorite thing about this screen, which is not the cool raster effect on Hawk's face, which is pretty cool. Uh, I also like the fact that there are little scaffolds where people can just, like, stand and watch video conferences. But no, it's the fact that they misspelled alert twice in two different ways. There's alert at the top left, and at the top right it says arart. Neither of those is correct, but I really admire the fact that, uh, that they kind of blew it in, in unique ways. Anyway, this mission will be an attack on the supercomputer base under New York... And I'm stuck using Snake Eyes, who is awesome in the comics and terrible in the game. So I'm going to stack the deck with the characters who are unfairly awesome. Snake Eyes, Captain Gridiron, and Duke. Anyway, so Samba says, just showed up. What's he drinking? I'm drinking a Negroni made with Bar Hill Gin Comp. Par, uh, Campari and Carpano Antica. So it's the good stuff. Bar Hill Gin is uh, made with juniper and honey. And the honey kind of cuts the bitterness of the, uh, the Negroni. Makes it a little sweeter, which is nice. I don't really like sweet drinks, but the Negroni can sometimes be a lot to take. It's very, very bitter. So, uh, so it's kind of a nice blend. I had a I had a bottle of Bar Hill gin uh, that I needed to finish up, so this is the last of it. It was designated for this special purpose. So here I am doing the Akira thing and going down a giant elevator into the New York underground. It's lined with skulls. Like this, I feel like Cobra invested a lot of money into this uh, New York City base. And I have to say, New York City, uh, whoa, time to shoot stuff. New York City uh, has a surprisingly deep underground. guy's getting faster. That seems bad. Hopefully it means I'm hurting him. Okay, and now he's slow again, so I don't even know what to think anymore. Snake Eyes, you've got to work on your Jutsu of Power. It is very, very inadequate in the power stakes. Maybe go back to using your Uzi? It's okay, I know you're a ninja, but ninjas can use machine guns too. There we go. 
Hooray! I saved New York. Oh, someone's someone's dropping science about game tactics in the chat. Yes, Snake Eyes Jutsu is the weakest uh, melee or the uh, weakest ranged attack, but it doesn't use ammo, and he's the best at melee. But on the other hand, it's the weakest ranged attack. Anyway, this is like the weird Snake Eyes. This is the the Snake Eyes with the two knives on his chest. I was always a fan of the original version of Snake Eyes, where he's just wearing a commando vest and a black mask over it. Snake Eyes is great because uh, like this, the character's iconic design came about because uh, Hasbro ran out of money for the toy line. Um, they wanted to, you know, make like 12 or 13 figures or whatever. Wait a minute, are those Cobra Law dudes? Give me a break. Um, anyway, they wanted to make, you know, a line of however many figures. I didn't know Snake Eyes could do that. What the hell? Snake Eyes is awesome. Can the other characters do that? Oh, I guess they can. Never mind. Snake Eyes, you still suck. Anyway, so they uh, they ran out of budget for the characters because, you know, like, uh, when you make a toy, it costs money for everything you want to do. Making a mold costs money, uh, casting parts makes money, and paint applications make money. So they ran out of money uh, for the last character and said, well, what if we made a character with no paint apps? So that was how they came up with Snake Eyes, the character who wears solid black. And uh, it worked really well. He was very popular because he was spooky and scary. Although when I was a kid, Snake Eyes was the first of two characters I ever bought. I bought Snake Eyes and Destro because I thought they were both bad guys. Because Snake Eyes was wearing all black, and his name was Snake Eyes, so he must have been a cobra, right? That was that was my logic. That was incorrect. But I hadn't seen the cartoon yet. Anyway, that was my cool story. Thanks for listening. Anyway, Snake Eyes is kind of running low on health, so I think I'm going to switch to Duke, because I hate him. And I don't care if he dies. Oh! Oh. That uh, grabbing onto walls thing is actually getting kind of annoying. It's very inconvenient. That looks like a thing Snake Eyes might like. Yes, there we go. All right. So I feel like I should know the name of those purple dudes who are jumping, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm not going to care. So the developer who made this, I mentioned them earlier, Kid, uh, was a Japanese developer, and they seem to have a pretty close relationship with Taxan, that was the publisher for this version of the game, or for this game. And um, the Kid Taxan team up gave us a couple of other games of varying quality. Um, the best of them was definitely. Oh, I see, those walls. Okay, now I got it. All right, so the best of the Taxan Kid team-ups besides G.I. Joe was Burai Fighter, which is a pretty cool game that I played for the first time this year uh, when I did Burai Fighter Deluxe for Game Boy World. And uh, I'd never played it, but I, I missed out on it. It's pretty great. The other was Low G-Man, which... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little torn on Low G-Man. Like, the, the jump physics are crazy, which I guess is cool, but uh, I feel like it's a little out of control. It's a tough one. So anyway, there's like some sort of ammo down there. I guess I don't need it because I'm using snake eyes, so whatever. I think I just have one more bomb to place, and then I can get the hell out of here. I'm sure there's not going to be anything that could possibly go wrong 
from dropping bombs uh, in the sewers of New York City, right? Oh, snake eyes. Alright, this wall thing is a little tricky. There we go. Nope, there we don't go. Never mind, I lied. Never trust a man who plays G.I. Joe on a live stream. I feel like I should be able to get into there, but it's not working for me. Maybe I'm jumping too high? Nope. I would like a buzzbore. Thank you. Good thing I brought Duke. Duke, the man who can get buzzbores. And oh no no no! Bad news. Oh my buzzbore is going away really soon. Thanks to the missile launcher and the Cobra Law dude. Freaking Cobra Law man! Can I blow these up? I hope so. Oh, I can. That makes my life a lot easier. Punch them to death, Duke. That's what you're good at. Why am I even using guns? Yes, this is Japanese video game logic where punches are much more powerful than guns. Anyway, I need to figure out how to get down there before my time runs out. I don't seem to be having much luck with it. Well, this seems to have been a bad choice. I've made a poor life choice, everyone. I'm very sorry. Somehow, some way, I will get to that check mark. Oh, place a bomb. Don't know how. Don't know when. guy needs to work on his grenade aim. There's something very enticing in this wall. What could it possibly be? I guess it doesn't matter if I can't get to it. But I would like the K ration, because they're delicious. You know, one time... Um, IGN sent me meals ready to eat. It was really weird. How? How do I get these things? I want these things. Give them to me. This is a very complex stage. There we go. All right. Time to get the things. Check this. But that still doesn't get me. Was that the last check mark? Was it? Well, I can't remember. I'm totally mixed up now. New York's underground is very confusing, very frightening. See if I can find an exit and get the hell out of here. 
No, I still have to get that thing. Damn it. Ah. How do I get in there? This is not going well. If only someone on the internet had, you know, created maps or something for video games at a site called, like, Video Game Maps or something. Boy, that would be amazing. But no, I have to slug it out myself. There we go. All right. Well, I'm not going to make it through. There's no way... <laughs> There's no way I'm going to finish this in time. Another fission mail. What? I could have sworn... What is happening here? Why can I not get that check mark? Oh! Why does everyone hate me? Why is my life so terrible? Oh, Lord. All right. Well, I'm very sorry that you had to witness this. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, I've just been walking around in circles for the past... feels like half an hour. I'm sure it hasn't been that long, but by God, it feels like it. They gave me so much time on this stage, and I still didn't finish it in time. All right, this is it, right? Please, yes. Oh, 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 one. What kind of cruel hoax is this? Oh, oh, the physical pain of it all. Good God. All right, that was embarrassing. Wow, I've been playing this for almost an hour. So um, I'm gonna give it one more try and then we'll call it a night because sometimes you just have to know when to hold him, know when to fold him, and know when to stop playing a video game on a live stream. Uh, Aaron, Arian Blue says, are you sure you want to say that you hate Duke so loudly in North Carolina? It's okay because there's like three major universities here and they all hate each other, so uh, it doesn't matter what you say you hate, it's going to offend someone. And actually, my wife has a lot of family here that went to either NC State or UNC, but I don't actually know anyone who went to Duke. So I can say that with impunity. I can, I can uh, trash talk Duke all I want, and the, uh, the, the UNC people will be really happy for it. I don't really get intercollegiate rivalries, but you know, whatever makes people happy. There, check mark this way. There's not. It's a K ration. Oh, so I was I was talking about the uh, the K rations that uh, IGN sent me. So I won a contest for something related to Alundra for PlayStation. So this was a long time ago, back when it was you know like PSX Power. I think a little bit after that. Um, I won this contest, and they were supposed to not only give me a copy of Alundra, but also send me a PlayStation. It was like, I, you know, back when the internet was new and no one had any idea what to do on the internet, so they just threw money around. It was great. Uh, but anyway, they actually forgot to send me my prizes for like three or four months. And I finally called them, and uh, I think I talked to Jay Bohr. And he was like, oh, really sorry about that. So he sent me this care package that didn't just have a Lundra and the uh, PlayStation in it, but also a bunch of extra stuff, including MREs, meals ready to eat. And it was like beef stew, and I did not eat it because it was really, it just seemed super gross. But there was a, uh, an MRE just sitting in my, in the kitchen shelves in my apartment for like six months until I moved out of the house. And that was the one thing that I didn't take with me, was the IGN MRE, because it's just so gross. Anyway, that's my cool story. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time. I guess I'm not done yet. Oh, although I feel like I'm done playing like this. Good God, that was pathetic. Okay. 
I think that's right. I have to use Duke to get up here. Oh, Duke. Come on, dude. I brought you out of retirement for this one jump, and you still can't make it. There we go. All right, Snake Eyes. Let's show them what's up. I think the trick is to go over here. Blow up that dude up top. Oh, I can't reach him. That's so sad. What a terrible weapon. There we go. All right, ammo that does, Snake Eyes doesn't need and weapon power that he desperately does. Let's see if I can remember the way to get over to that stupid, stupid thing that was vexing me so badly. Oh, I'm invincible. And it's not a GoldenEye reference. I'm actually literally invincible. Okay, I am making progress and blowing up dudes and dropping bombs. Possibly on your moms. Another buzz bore. Those things are everywhere. All right, so the vexing checkpoint is over here. All right, now we're in business. So I just got to do one last one. We can call it a day. I really, really hate the buzzbore weapon. That's really just genuinely awful. Like, who decided that was a good idea? Why did they do this to me? What kind of terrible person would do this? Okay, so that's all the bombs placed, and I can get the heck out of Dodge. Do I even need that? I don't. That's how awesome I'm being this time around. Gotta make up for last time. So now I just need to figure out which exit to get to. I think it was up above. Yes, that up there. Come to me, my precious. Through here, I believe. Yes. It's all coming together. My pain was not in vain. All right, friends. Oops, I guess I have to get out. Wait, is that not a door? Is there another... Oh my god! Is there another one of these things to... No! Have I missed a checkpoint? That's what I get for being confident. Oh. What a disaster. Alright, I guess I haven't been over to the bottom right of the stage, so... Let's do that. Give me your food. There we go. All right. Is that everything? Please say yes. Let me go away, please. I'm so done with the stage. Dear Jesus, please let this exit work now. There we go. All right. Whoa, that seems bad. What in the hell is even happening? What? Ah, what? Oh my God. Whose idea was this? Oh, 
Ugh, snake eyes, you're disappointing me. Right, so I have to drop down there to avoid the stupid thing that's doing the thing. have the audio turned off so that it doesn't create an interference with the stream, so I have no idea if I'm actually having any effect. This is terrible. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, no. Let's not do this. What? Oh my god. I must be doing something horribly wrong. Oh, I guess I was doing something right. Okay. I still have one more stage to go, but can I do it? I hope. I'd like to be I'd like to be done with this. I, I think I've played enough G.I. Joe for tonight. I don't want to feel the power of the Overlord. Do you think that can be optional, maybe? Like, feel the power of the Overlord if you, as a consenting adult, choose to do so? For some reason, a buzzard is flying around in the sewers, because why the hell not? I'm going to switch to Duke, because, again, go ahead and die, Duke. I don't care. But I would like a glowing K-Rat for Snake Eyes. That would be nice. There we go. Feed me. Oh no. Snake eyes. <sighs> I just want a K rat. Why? Why can I not have my, my food? My delicious military rations. Aye. Fine, I'm just gonna kill buzzards in the sewer, because that's what a growing boy does. Oh, hello. This is a good weapon. This is the kind of vehicle I'd like to see more of. Thank you, Cobra, for providing me with such a gift. Wait, no, I need out. How do I get out? This is ridiculous. Really? Can I jump down? Okay, there we go. Whoa, I almost jumped into a hole. That would have been bad. I feel like there's a way to get that stuff, but I'm running out of time, so I guess I need to get the hell out of here. Tasty K-Rats, farewell. No, I don't want to jump into that hole. Oh, more K-Rats. Oh, do Stupid Captain Gridiron. You stole Snake Eyes' food. This is like Gauntlet. Sure, why not? Why not just... Whoa, is that a... It's one of those Cobra Ninja Viper dudes. Night Vipers, whatever they're called. That's great. And it appears I cannot blow up these frickin' flamethrower things. And that sucks. It also sucks that I can no longer get up there. This whole stage is just like one big taunt. There's all these K-rations that I desperately need, and I can't get to them. There's 
the Night Viper killing. Okay. This vehicle is ridiculous. What is this frickin' thing that's chasing me around? Oh my god! Okay, the, the time-honor tactic once again of standing in front of a guy and shooting really fast! I don't think this is going to go so well for me. If only I'd found that K-Ration! Oh, Duke! Failed again. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not gonna go so well. Right. Okay, one more! One more! Oh! Ah, uh, that's so sad. Alright. Um, you know what? I, I think I have to admit defeat. Cobra wins, America loses... G.I. Joe has failed. It's very tragic. Uh, but that's what happens when we don't spend enough on defense, I guess. That was unusually right-wing of me to say. But anyway, um, so thanks for watching, those of you who watched. I've been playing G.I. Joe and drinking a Bar Hill Negroni, and it was quite tasty. I hope you... Uh, have enjoyed watching the stream. I hope you will enjoy drinking some delicious thing of your own choice. And I think I'm going to call it a day. So um, if you enjoyed this, please maybe consider supporting my videos on Patreon. Uh, that's GameSpite on Patreon. And uh, if I can make like $150 more a month, then I'll start doing these streams weekly. Uh, but, you know, it's fair to consider that a threat if you don't want that to happen, then you should certainly interfere with people giving money to me. Uh, so yes, this has been a pilot episode of Gintendo. Thanks for watching. I will perhaps return again soon. In the meantime, play some more video games. Have a good new year. All right, take care.